hey YouTube, Cyan here. And if you're coming here from my Cyan Talks channel and notice my voice changed again, I'm getting more used to the braces over time. Just keep that in mind. Um, I use the channel here as a comparison video so you can try different things. Now for this video, I have two ropes that neither have any attack values on. However, I have a third rope with critical rate value and I'll explain it a little bit more in depth when we get to the next fight. But for this beginning fight, we're just gonna be looking at Jing Liu with the basic attack rope and the base energy regeneration rope. So you can get an idea on what's the difference between the two. You can see here that with Jing Liu, if she does not ensure a kill or if she does not get hit before her first cycle is over, her attack rope will not guarantee a ultimate. She'll be at 135 out of 140, while on the energy regeneration rope, you will have 140 out of 140. So because of this, this is why people think energy regeneration rope is a little bit better to get a little bit more consistency. Now, this is theory versus reality. So we're gonna be looking at, this is the theory right here in the solo build. Now let's go take a look at reality. Starting off on our first comparison, we're going to be looking at her in a longer fight so we can get a glimpse at her and her ability of losing transmigration and how did it affect her. The main goal here is to check out how much energy she's getting for each cycle and if she's keeping up with the energy regeneration rope. The main reason for this is because the energy regeneration rope, if it outpaces the attack rope, and it makes the transmigration last a little bit longer, it can out damage. However, if it does not, if it's equal or even similar, then it's gonna be an uphill battle for the energy regeneration rope. At the beginning of this fight, like most memory of chaos fights, it's usually best to save your ultimate till the end so that the supports like Ting Yun, Pella, and Fushwin can build up their energy so that they have enough energy going into the next fight. Therefore, we end up using our ultimate on Jing Liu near the very end. Starting with phase two here, we end up using Ting Yun on Jing Liu. Keep in mind that Ting Yun here is E1, so we're missing out on the E2 energy for um, enemy defeated, and E6, which will give the 10 energy on her ultimate. Now, one thing about um, Ting Yun and Jing Liu is I highly recommend you use both together. Running Jing Liu without Ting Yun is this it found I found it to be very clunky when I was testing her. So I would highly recommend if you want to have like the full like experience with Ting Yun with all with Jing Liu, then you really want to pair these two together more than anyone else. I think the second best pairing would be Pella. Um Pella does a lot for Jing Liu with the AoE defense down. And the fact that Pella can just really break the enemies very fast, helping Jing Liu out is really good. Not to mention if you have Pella E4, um, she'll have the ice resistance down on her skill, makes her skill viable. And with Jing Liu on the team, you don't have like any real like skill point issue. So you can actually use the skill on Pella. But here we, I, I kind of like link it up so that you can see like the side by side so you can see everything going at the same time. Um, the attack rope is obviously going to do more damage. So if the energy regeneration rope doesn't give you an additional ultimate or extend transmigration state, there's pretty much no reason to running it. So far with Ting Yun, you can notice that there's been next to any change in terms of the energy regeneration rope or our rotation. So right now, the energy regeneration rope has not done anything for us other than lower our overall damage. Um, I do run two different energy regeneration ropes in this video. So I end up running um, one that boosts her critical rate. So ideally I had two ropes. One rope is gonna be used with no like um, damage boosting. So no critical rate, no attack, no attack flat, no critical damage. However, I had to swamp over to a rope with critical rate for the energy regeneration rope because I had too much effect resist on it. And because these fights have the um, enemies that do debuff to you and you clear the debuff to get a damage bonus, it ended up me, it ended up having me use my, um, the rope with damage on it for the energy regeneration rope side, just so that I can ensure that I'm getting debuffed on Jing Liu to get the damage bonus. Because of this, 
the energy regeneration rope you see in the video is actually better than the attack rope so it had even more advantage next we have an auto battle showcase so i wanted to go in and check what would happen if the game automatically used your ultimate the moment it's up because I'm pretty sure people might be saying, why am I holding on to the ultimate to maximize my damage? I should use every moment it's up. So that's the point of the auto battle showcase. So we can see what happens when you do use your ultimate at the beginning each time. Um, the one thing I don't like though, is that they do cast Ting Yun's ultimate in phase one. And I've never been a fan of doing that, but it is auto battle. So it is what it is. You can see here that there's still no real change here. It's actually point for point the exact same, which is pretty cool. Um, the only difference is that attack rope is going to do more damage. Going into phase two of the fight, it's pretty much bread and butter. I do like that they do target the ascended and not the fish. Only like the um, like links may attack the fish every now and then. But other than that, they are focusing on the ascended, which is good for me. I ain't got, I ain't got no complaint. It, I don't want it to take too long, but there still has been no real change on our rotation. Both Jing Liu and Ting Yun, everything's going pretty much the exact same here. So it had been yet any good reason to swamp over to the energy regeneration rope. Notice that there is a little discrepancy here where um, Link used her skill on one screen while on the other she used her ultimate. Because of that, I had to like pause the video so that they can like link up together again. So because of that, I had to pause again because <laughs> then the other link used her ultimate and it's all like going back and forth and whatnot. But still, both characters, um, both builds are running the exact same rotation still on Jing Liu. So we have yet to have any discrepancy in terms of like our, our, our stacks of moon. There we go. We are, now we have one stack on both, um, but still there's been no change. We're actually going into cycle 18 now. So we're two cycles deep and they still both have their ultimate. I mean, their transmigration state going up. So King Yun uses her ultimate on the attack screen while she did not use it on her um while she did not use it on the energy regeneration rope i think she got hit more in the attack side than she did on the um she got hit more on attack rope than she got hit on the energy regeneration rope causing her to gain more energy other than that that's like the only difference here is that she does get hit more in the attack side giving her that additional ultimate but their rotation would be exact same so there's been no reason, there's been no change in terms of Jing Li Yu having additional ultimates thanks to her energy regeneration rope. And for our last test, we have a hyper carry. This is something similar to what I'm going to use in my video for um, Jing Li Yu versus Lune. Um, it's a little bit weaker than Jing Li Yu because I'm running a no substat boosting um, attack rope, but it's the same premise where we're going to be focusing on killing as fast as possible with the exact same rotation. Because that because we don't have to really worry about building the ultimate at the beginning. This is why I just don't really see it being an issue and why you shouldn't really run energy regeneration rope. There's been a couple of times in my testing where Jing Liu on the attack rope does not get her ultimate and it does hurt. But those times, it was usually due to me making a misplay where I could have killed an enemy and I read it out and I didn't kill it because I was just being stupid. It was more of a personal mistake on me that I could I rectified in a repeat run rather than it was, oh man, I can't do it without the energy regeneration rope. The one benefit of the energy regeneration rope though is that it's another option for a substat, so you can get like attack percent, speed, critical damage, critical rate, opposed to running the attack percent rope where you can only get speed, critical damage, and critical rate. Um, you don't get that fourth like really good stat. But I doubt many people are going to get that lucky. 
but for those who do i can understand why you might want to run the energy regeneration rope because you got really good such things we can see here that with branya the rotation is the exact same um we do run out of our trend migration state a little bit quicker even um with the energy regeneration rope because you know Brian is going to keep pushing Jing Liu forward giving Jing, Jing giving Jing Liu more turns to activate her um her was it moon over glacial river I think it's called now we're out of our trend migration state but because we're so powerful we can just end up killing it even without the trend migration state so I'm trying to make sure I get enough energy on Jing Liu to finish off the fight this here is the first time where we don't have enough energy on Jing Liu and the energy regeneration rope does get the ultimate before the attack rope but the rotation is the exact same because we do the on the energy regeneration rope side it was ultimate skill skill while on the attack rope side it was skill ultimate skill same thing not any difference but that's pretty much the difference there um I personally think I'll be going with the energy regeneration rope from my testing um, being the weaker option and then the attack rope being a better option in the majority of fights. I'll show you the gear here so you can see the difference here when it comes to the ropes we have so the attack rope has no attack um, percent on it but the rope I use right here is the critical rate and the um, break effect HP because it doesn't have effect resist which allows my Jing Liu to not get debuffed as much, but allows her to get debuffed more. But I ended up swapping to another one. Um, this one is the one I used in the solo testing, which was the one with the effect resist, but because it has so much effect resist, I was having issues keeping them similar in terms of stacks of the memory of, um, of the memory imprint, I think it's called. If you have any questions um, or if you enjoyed this video, Leave a comment down below. It's a little bit less like scripted. It's like more rambling and just talking about the game. So let me know how you feel about it in the comments down below. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you on the next video.